I'm just gonna warn you guys right now. This is gonna get a little messed up. I'm Captain Honeydew, and I'll be your guide to this absolutely fucking horrible situation. Ted! <laughs> they know you Sorry. This gas bag were to catch fire. We'd go full Hindenburg. That's what would happen. Someone sure trashed this place. Must have been one hell of a fight. Eh, that's how it gets at the buffet at, uh, after church. Nothing of note in here. I know, I know, just... Chill out for a second. Literally, M keeps you to the point of near starvation all the time. Just... It's locked. Frick. I, I shouldn't be, uh, getting pissed at Gorister. He's been through a lot. Something feels... It certainly does feel wrong. Oh, shit. We all died. <laughs> I'm trying, you guys, I'm trying. I think I know what's going to happen if I fire the gun in here. But uh, as we've, uh, as we've seen, M is not allowing us the sweet embrace of death. We got a jukebox. Old-fashioned jukebox. Do it work? He took my just about killed her, that stupid truck driver. He took my baby away. Let's listen to something else. You don't ever take me dancing. Oh, God, why'd I have to hit her? I'd rather kill myself than hurt my poor Glennis. Ew. Mama was right. You're not good enough for me. Damn it. Okay, the look of abject horror on his face means we're going in a very bad direction, so let's, uh... Let's load up again, shall we? Well, Gorister, you've seen better days. So is the big machine for that matter. I'd like to point out that the uh, eyes on that jackal are very, very unnatural. Also, what the fuck this jackal is talking to me? Okay, so he's saying in exchange for Gorister's heart, he's going to tell us how to get across the mountains. But he also just said that he, ha he has a good relationship with Am. The reason we're here. The reason that my heart is gone. Let's leave. This whiskey tastes good. Am would never let us have this. It's probably full of piss! Where am I going? Where is he? Born me to the edge of my fragile patience, Carster. So I fucked off across the desert. And Am was like, nah. I'm taking you with me, Edna. <laughs> Just, let me just shove this entire woman into my pocket. If I can just deliver Gorister's soul on a platter, I can make amends for every minute of Glynis's life I took from her. I never meant to drive her crazy. Oh, oh damn. shit. This claimed responsibility for Glynis. Maybe it wasn't my fault after all. Funny thing about this, um, Harlan Ellison actually did not want a, there to be a proper ending to this game. He wanted people to just be frustrated. Like, forever. Harlan Ellison is a good writer, but he is an absolutely massive troll. Or, he, he was. Like, there was this one teacher he had in school, basically, that told him he was never going to be shit. And every time he won an award, he would send that award to that teacher that said that. Ellen's next. Why is everything so damned yellow? And why does it terrify me so? Paralyze me so? Maybe it's because you're a Green Lantern. Ellen, you're a strong woman of color. Let's go. No, I can't stay. You'll never get laid with that line of stuff, Anubis. Take care of your own boring self. Bye now. Okay. <laughs> Some other time, Anubis, honey. I'd check out what you'd be wearing under the kilt, but right now, it's those loose wires you got exposed that interest me. Oh. Okay, that was a weird thing to say. Okay, if I'm recalling correctly, shit's gonna get raw over here, so... Once again, trigger warning. For, uh... Th this is gonna get a little bit distressing. You had a greater facility with algorithms than with social grace. You have had sex only twice in your life. Okay, it's getting weirdly personal. 
You left your office after working late at the Ingsai corporate headquarters building. The elevator stopped at the seventh floor for a maintenance man. To your horror, he inserted his key into the control panel and locked the elevator. Ah, oh, shit. Back, Ellen. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, sweet Jesus. I waited in the sarcophagus until you arrived. What's a mere hundred years of waiting compared to an eternity of torturing you? Please, not again! Yes, again. And again, and again, and again. Guess what we're gonna get? And I say this to everybody who has had to experience something like this. First of all, I'm sorry that you had to go through that. Second, if given the opportunity, Make them suffer. Don't count on it, you mother. If given the opportunity to make your... To, like, deliver sweet, sweet justice on the person who wronged you, do it. If, the, if your way of doing that is forgiving them, fine. If your way of doing that is stomping them in the nuts, fine. If your way of doing that is putting them in jail, also fine. But if they went out of their way to make you feel ashamed and powerless and weak, they deserve the same over and across. I just realized we beat the rapist guy in the face with the Holy Grail, but it was still full of water. Alrighty, so now we are Benny. A weird looking... Oh. M, you son of a bitch. Yeah, pretty much, he is a basically handicapped, ape-looking monster guy thing. It's an enormous penis! But that's in the book, that's not in this game. What's with the ropes on the crossbeams? Looks like they're used for holding someone captive. Yeah, usually when there's just a cross like this, someone's about to get their shit pushed in. Looks like a, what did they used to call them? single parent household probably depend upon the generosity of the rest of the village friggin welfare parasites ben you are literally in no position to be making any commentary about anybody i am am the great and powerful well, you didn't bring me toto but i accept the chosen you shall not feel my wrath today am i swell or what <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Judas Priest. Am blasted her to bits. What am I going to do for food now? Ben, someone just got disintegrated in front of you. Uh, buddy, I think we're gonna have to have a serious talk. Speaking in the third person, Am, which is I, Am is satisfied with the sacrifice. He, that is to say I, will spare the village. His, that is to say my, wrath for today i have as i said before spoken what a dick it's like not only is he a torturous dick but he's a pompous dick i don't blame you for hating me brickman you don't blame me you did this to me you murdered me because i didn't measure up to your standards then you killed the witnesses what's interesting about this is there was like, basically the secret, quote-unquote, that was, uh, that Brickman found out was that Ben was gay. Namely because Ben was fucking Brickman. Well, because, like, he was such a massive perfectionist, it's like, oh, um, if I, if they find out, like, that I'm gay and in the army, then I'm basically fucked six ways to Sunday, so he killed everybody that knew about it. But then, like, they... But then, like, the developers were kind of like, maybe we shouldn't do that, and then they just kind of altered it. Uh, speaking of stuff that was cut, um, this cradle, there was supposed to be a baby in it. Ben could then eat the baby. If you're feeling morbidly curious, uh, the scene is on YouTube. Am wants to have a sacrifice tomorrow, even with the lottery bag missing. Why don't you hide in the hole, just in case? I afraid of hole. Need friend to hide with. You too big to go in hole. Me get idea. I make friend and then I hide. 
You help me. We're making a friend for our friend because we can't fit in this hole. Thank you for help with all. Me go play in hole. The boy's hiding in the hole with his doll. Be safe, kid. The boy's gone. The villagers must have found him. Son of a bitch. Natana Shama Holt. They're going to sacrifice the boy unless I think of something quick. Oh god. <laughs> We're not gonna eat the kid. Why, the boy's giving me his doll. What what's going on with Betty's body? Next in our lineup is Nimdok. Things are about to get very um Auschwitzy. I cannot let you pass, Doctor. You're due in surgery. Dr. Mengele's orders. Yep. Mengele. Concentration camp. This must be the recovery room. This patient will never recover. An ironically named room to, for him to be in. Oh, shit. Dude, you good? This foolish man is tangled in barbed wire. Yeah, he, okay, he's not good. Fuck you! Come here quickly. Dr. Nimdok has gone berserk. I must Run! Dr. Nimdok is to be apprehended. Search the facility for him. Taking the ether. Dr. Oh, Nimdok, shit. You have betrayed the regime's trust in your abilities. You are to die in the manner of all of the regime's enemies. Oh, no. No. There you go, buddy. This should... The things I see now. A trinity of three beasts, one like us, one from the east, one from the steppes. They speak in numbers. A lost tribe of our brothers sleeping on the moon. They sleep in darkness, unseen by the beast. Ooh, everybody remember that. You're going to get quizzed on it later. Use the box with the jar. It is safely hidden in the box. It's still in the... Sure. We're getting as good of an ending as possible, guys. We're doing this. Why do you say that I am one of you? You denied your heritage and turned your own parents into the regime. But you're still a member of the Lost Tribe. And that makes your crimes all the more heinous. Yeah. Big plot twist. Nimdok is Jewish. And he turned over his parents and sent them to a concentration camp. Son of a bitch! Use ether with that guy. Use the pliers with this guy. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, I heard this in the hospital when the doctor thought I was sleeping. Waken the sleeper, utter the truth, and kiss him. That's what we needed. The truth is that for me, it shall always be 1945. Well, we can make the golem kill the lost tribe. We can make the golem just kind of vibe there for a second. Or, we can give control to the Lost Tribe. So that's what we're gonna- I transfer control of you over to the Lost Tribe. So, you admit your crimes. But that does not release you from punishment. Now the Golem will serve the purpose for which it was constructed. Golem, kill Nimdok! as alike as I thought, Nimdok. There we go. Well, let's just see what he's got going on with his scenario, and then we'll stop. Oh, shit. Hey, now I know I've made you a paranoid, Ted. I know you're scared, but I'm your friend. 109 years, I am your best friend. So overcome your fear. Enter the Room of Dark, and you can solve its mystery.
Yeah, the man who's been consistently torturing us for 109 years is our friend. This old drug, I don't trust it. Well, suck it up, Buttercup. You're going in. <laughs> so typical of the castles I've visited in Europe. A beautiful facade disguising ordinary stone. Appearances, everything. Ted, now is not the time to be humble bragging. I should probably also point out in the original story, like, yeah, Ted was the narrator, and he was really, really salty that Ellen was having sex with Ben the most. Because remember, um, Am corrupted her mind and basically made her just constantly need sex all the time, and also gave Ben an enormous dick. So, put, go ahead and just put two and two together there. As established before, Am basically made everyone the opposite of what they were. Like, uh, you know, Gorister was like a cool dad kind of guy, and then he became like a apathetic, suicidal dude that beats the shit out of Ellen. Ellen was level-headed and, and chaste, but then she, Am made her uh, hysterical and a nymphomaniac. Ben was handsome and intelligent and gay, but then um, Am made him deformed and ape-like and gave him a huge dick and it's like he constantly knows in his head like this doesn't feel right having sex with Ellen but I need to have sex with Ellen for some reason and the only one that arguably was not changed that much was Nimdok yeah like Nimdok was kind of just a feeble old man but like in the story sometimes it like Aim would separate him from the group and when he allowed him to return to the group like he was just like, yo, I saw some shit. Just traumatized. It's so unlike Am to provide light when he knows how frightening the dark can be. Uh, he's up to something. The guy that's been torturing you for a century is up to something? Golly jeepers. It's not healthy to ask too many questions these days. Let's talk about you instead. No, thank you. I'll make a deal with you. I will tell you where you can find a mirror if you spend some quality time in my bed. No. It's a flattering offer, but I'm not interested. I'll give you what you need. Hasn't it been too long for you? That's an interesting question, because I'd like to again reiterate that every single man in the group has had sex with Ellen multiple times. It, it, it's probably been, what, like, a week since Ted had sex with Ellen? I mean, obviously they're not going to divulge that in this game, but, like, no, that was part of the story. I can make you so much happier. I can, you know. I want to get out of this conversation. It's making me uncomfortable. I am not... Why, you used me, you bitch! Just like you tried to use me, you snobby bastard. I'll bet you've used lots of women with your smug charm. You're nothing but a phony. That was weirdly personal. The second passage reads, The incantations I hear from my wife's infernal workroom are the purest evil. Perhaps it is her hatred of my daughter that drives her up there. Yeah, if someone just unabashedly admitted that they hated my daughter, I'd probably divorce them? I'm just saying. The forest has grown dark and overrun with dire wolves since my marriage. Dire wolves? There are... So there are dire wolves outside. They're like wolves, except they're dire. Ted is very... smarmy. Like, my man's just moonwalked over the thing. Let's go back to Ellen's room and see if, uh, her mirror's there. Okay! This, this is Devil from Las Vegas that tries to, uh, tell you- Hey, I'll make you a star, but you gotta spread your butthole on camera. Oh, Al was much closer than before. 
Okay, so I think we're on a timer. The wolves are getting closer. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Ted. Try again. What would Gorist or Nimdok and Benny do if they found out how I felt about Ellen? Would they hate me for wanting her all to myself? Maybe. Considering she's the squad bicycle, you know, maybe. Now, granted, it's not her fault that she's the team bicycle. But, um, you know, like, Am basically corrupted her mind. Hey, Ellen. Please tell me you found my mirror. There's a lot of dudes in your room. There's an angel and a devil quarreling over your soul. Men have been fighting over my body for more than a hundred years. And now they want my soul. Please, Ted, just release me from all this. I don't care what happens to me anymore. Yeah, El Ellen kind of is getting just run through the ringer back here. Let's pilfer. These things would only interest a peasant. Besides... I don't want to get caught stealing. Ted, you really shouldn't be acting so fucking smarmy right now. Don't you even think of touching me, you backstabbing demon? He's having a tantrum. I'm the established character. Okay, so we can basically choose a person to lead the charge inside of Am and do stuff. I may fuck this up because I kind of know who I want to be the person to end it all. Ben, let's do it. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Oh yeah, I, I I fucked up. Yeah, let's let's run this back. Ben. Do the thing. Damn it, he died! Yeah, sorry I'm floundering and flailing. I'm just uh trying. do this right without use of walkthrough. Having a magical jaunt through all this gray matter and broken glass. Nope. Oh, he's, he's dead. Okay, seriously, am I doing this properly? Alright, I'm, I'm gonna try and blitz through this as fast as I can. Things have gone extreme. Wait, wait, did I, did I fuck up? Did I not have picked Ben first? Did, 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 did I fuck up? Should I run it back again? <laughs> this is one of those things where it's very, very easy to fuck up in such a way that you're permanently locked off from the good ending. Or at least in the scenarios. Gorster has a foot in the grave and he's not uh, feeling very closured right now. Yep, there he goes. What do you have to show me? Oh, hello. Like Bet you didn't know there were other humans left alive, did you? I see a number tattooed on the I arm. fucked up! I am so sorry for what I have done to my people. This is what I was How Fuck. can you take me back? Fuck it in a bucket. Ladies and gentlemen, I am sorry. Let's run that back one more time. Keep, keep it moving. Keep it moving, old man. Let's go. Double time, double time, come on. Bye. Actually, let's... Enter password. Whoa. Ben. Oh. Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck? Alright, Ben, you're up. Do you realize how powerful I am, human? And yet I'm doomed to eventually decay into a rusted pile of inert junk? What is the point of continuing this futility? I think, therefore, I am not. Alright. So yeah, we took out the super ego by introducing it to clarity. And it basically reestablished what we already knew. Eventually, Am will die. Across the brainscape, cold winds bring me the sweet scents of mankind. How delicious they are. Gross. What do you... Come close and let my tongue be our guide. Ew. You have compassion for me? 
Me? This is pointless. We showed compassion for this horrible, horrible creature. And uh, it broke his brain. This is a no. It's time! Where's some black girl magic? Let's do it! Could that be an angel? Funny. Why did I just flash on Ted just now? Ellen likes Ted back! That's cute. Yeah, like, a, it's a far cry from, like, the original story, but, you know. Like, it's it's cute that, that she likes Ted back. Correction. I was built to hurt you. Son of a bitch! I have no mouth, and I must scream. Okay, so we got the bad ending, or one of the bad endings. But here's the thing, the whole thing about the story is everyone is experiencing a fate worse than death. All of the people in the group except Ellen have been granted death and the game just shut off. All right, Ellen, we're going to do this properly. This should not happen. Together we are three. There is space to share. Getting a little nervous. Tonight, begin the revival of the sleepers on Luna together. Uh, there are adequate numbers on this lunar base to, uh, to torture? I'm getting worried. There are currently 750 humans in cryogenic sleep. Am knows about the people. Together, we... we must invoke the Totem of Entropy. The one thing that Am is afraid of. This is not over. You can't protect yourself because we come in many, many guises. We shall return. Okay. All right. It's all exploding. I think we did it. Hibernation defrost sequence initiated. Estimated time to complete Earth terraforming 300 years. You know, it's not so bad being a watchdog up right here. I'll keep the machines in their place until the lunar colony is ready to return to the Earth. We were all heroes, in spite of ourselves. We did it! We got the good ending! Ellen is now the, uh... For all intents and purposes, she is now Am. She's watching over the Earth and making sure that Am doesn't come back. The humans on the lunar colony have been saved and the Earth is going to be restored to normal in about 300 years. Hang on a second. We're not we're not quite done yet, though. All right. Use the gun with the airbag. Flammable thing inside of a thing filled with gas. Explosions. <laughs> Did you really? Ooh. Yeah, 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 I know. Ammo let us die. Use gun... What the fuck? It looks like she's been chosen to be sacrificed. Oh, oh my god. This is Am, the great and powerful. Yeah. The woman's death means nothing to me. I will take the newcomer instead. I've made a bad decision. The major failure thing for it, for Ellen, I'm not going to do. Because it could be potentially very, very upsetting to some people. Here we go. Tell. It is done. Eh, that was less gruesome than I expected. So, uh, yeah, I just took out part of this kid's spine. That's gonna dock you some, some good person points. Alright, so, yeah, we... To get, like, the good ending of this, we needed to kill Mengela and then give the golem, give control of the golem to the lost tribe here. We're gonna do something bad. Golem, destroy the lost tribe. Uh, 
am was right. I am not redeemable. I wish to continue my research. I had hoped you would choose to carry on your research, Nimduck. Come, my evil friend. Let me take you to a laboratory the likes you have never seen before. Ah, you. Okay. You're the last. That was the bad ending to uh, Nimdok's uh, scenario there. He chooses to continue his research and Am permanently removes him from the game. He isn't dead, but he's kind of just gone. Now we're going to bone this redhead real quick. Well, how can I possibly refuse such a lovely lady? Lead the way. Oh, you doll! My bedroom's right through that door! <laughs> Can you imagine just you you bang someone and you look up and they're making this face? <laughs> oh Jesus! I feel guilty. I betrayed Ellen. Why of all the nerve? After what we just did, all you can think about is that thing sleeping in a bed. Get out of here! I don't want to see you anymore. Whoops. <laughs> and that's why these hoes ain't loyal. There's another, like, bad end to this scenario. We can give Ellen to Surgat and go to the We've surface. We've got a deal. Ellen's soul in exchange for the gate to the surface world. Excellent. My brother was right about you. Now all you have to do is let Ellen see her face in the mirror. Leave the rest to me. And even getting, like, the bad ending for this thing is... Like, complicated. Oh my god. I look like the damn Ted. What have you done to me? I am disappointed oh, shit. in you, Ted. Yeah, that was... That was legit kind of unsettling. Just two random arms just grab Ellen. All right, let's, let's talk to these guys. What can you tell me about the lunar colony? Oh shit. The humans that slept on Luna are dead. Do not concern yourself with them. Oh, that's... that's... okay, that's part of the worst ending. Every human on the colony is dead now. Harlan Ellison is... what well, was a weird dude. And this was basically the stuff, the kind of stuff that he would write about. He'd write about, like, dystopian futures and fucked up shit happening to people. I don't know like towards the end of his career or, or towards his life that um he how he felt about I have no mouth and I must scream because it's arguably his best known work but if I'm recalling correctly he didn't think very fondly on it mostly because a he wrote it in a day and B, like, he had so many other works that he had, but, like, this was the one that people talk about well the most. Again, you once again play the gallant knight and defeat the evil monster. The title fucking the slaps. Right. The other four are dead, finally free from their tortures. Am is all the matter for that. It makes me happier. And yet Am has won, simply. He has taken his revenge. I have no mouth, and I must scream. Alright, so... If we're gonna get technical in terms of this game, that is the canon ending. Everyone else is dead except Ted. He's been turned into the slug thing. He... Has... He, he holds out at least some degree of hope that he'll outlast Am, and eventually Entropy will destroy Am. But... Like, just, he's, he's suffering a fate worse than death. Yeah, honestly, every single person is, like, to some degree, they, d they kind of earned their spot, like, as Am's new brain. Except, well, except maybe Nimdok or Benny. Those, that's, they, they both did some pretty fucked up shit. But, um, like, I don't know why, I just felt like, if given the choice, either Ted or Ellen should be the one to be at the end of all things there. But that's it for I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. I kept 
fucking everything up. But I appreciate you taking this journey with me 109 years into the future. And seeing just how absolutely horrible things can get if we allow AI to go past the singularity. <laughs> yeah, I guess that'll about do it. But yeah, thanks for joining me. And as always, be safe, be well, and remember to eat your fruit because it prevents scurvy. Bye.